Hi. Now, if you would like to do a question on thirds, then this is a great one to try. We've got two parts here. So why don't you have a go at these, come back when ready, and you can check your work solutions with mine. OK, welcome back if you had a go. So let's see how you got on. Well, with the first part, we've got to express 5 minus root 8 all multiplied by 1 plus root 2 in the form a plus b root 2, where a and b are integers. So to do something like this, what I first want to do is make sure that I've got an intro. We just copy the question out, 5 minus the root of 8 multiplied by 1 plus root 2. And we expand this in the usual way with brackets. We do 5 times the 1, which is going to be 5. And then we've got 5 times plus root 2, which is going to be plus 5 root 2. And then we've got minus root 8 times the 1, so it's minus root 8. And finally, we've got minus root 8 times plus root 2, which is going to be minus the square root of 16, 8 times 2. OK? Now, it does say that express this in the form a plus b root 2. So I'm expecting to get some root 2 values out of this. And I can see I've got one here. But what about root 8? Well, we should be able to break root 8 down by just applying basic rules for thirds. And that is the square root of 8 is exactly the same as the square root of 4 times 2. Well, obviously, 2 times 4 doesn't make any odds. But when I've got a product of several factors here, as I have, I can look at this as the square root of 4 multiplied by the square root of 2. And the square root of 4, we know, is 2. Not too sure about what the root of 2 is, so we just leave it as 2 root 2. OK, so then I can substitute this value into here. So what we've got then is 5 plus the 5 root 2. Now for the minus root 8, I've just got to write that as minus 2 root 2. And for root 16, well, that's an exact value, 4. So we've got here minus 4. And grouping up our terms, we've got 5 minus 4, which is 1. And then we've got 5 root 2, take away 2 root 2, which is going to be plus 3 root 2. And you can see we've got that in this form, a plus b root 2, where a and b are integers. If we were asked what a was, it would be 1. And b would be an integer as well. It would be the 3 here. OK, so that's the first part. Now, for the second part, we've got to express the square root of 80 plus 30 over the root of 5 in the form c root 5, where c is an integer. So again, what I want to do is just copy down our question here. So we've got the square root of 80 then plus 30 over the square root of 5. So what's this going to be equal to? Well. The clue here is that we've got to break it down into terms with root 5. So root 80 has got to be broken down into some term like that. So again, if we do this on the side here, square root of 80, how can we break this down? Well, as I say, we've got this clue that there's got to be a 5 in there. And I know that 16 times 5 gives 80. So this is exactly the same as the square root of 16 times the square root of 5. OK, so we'll just write that in, root 16, root 5. Square root of 16 is 4, so we've got 4, root 5. So let's take that first term, root 80, and write it then as equal to 4, root 5. Now for this second term, plus 30 over root 5, what I've got to do here is rationalize this. In other words, get rid of the root 5 in the denominator. And I can do that by effectively timesing this by 1 in the disguise of root 5 over root 5. OK? You just always multiply top and bottom 
by the square root of, well, what you've got on the bottom here, in this case, root 5. So, what do we get now? Well, if we work this out, we'll just keep the first term as 4 root 5, and then for the second term we got 30 root 5, and on the bottom here we've got root 5 times root 5, which is the square root of 25, or just simply 5. And you'll see that 5 will go cleanly into the 30 six times. So what we've got is 4 root 5 plus 6 root 5. 4 root 5 plus 6 root 5 is going to be 10 root 5. So we've got this in the form c root 5. If we're asked what c was, it would be 10, an integer. OK, so there we go. Hope you were able to follow my working, and if you got it, well done. OK, so that brings us now to the end of this question.